Smartest guys around are about to break it down like they've won the game a million times. Well, actually, they didn't really win the game <laughs> at all. So, follow it up! acoustic remix to really stretch it out. <laughs> really, Brett wanted to milk you the uh, singing time. No, well, it's more better, emotional, better. right? Yeah, like we said, but we've never won. Remember all the words this time. Great job. <laughs> I had too many subbases last time. Uh -huh. yeah. All right, first up, let's just say, what's going on, Toronto? <laughs> Slide in. You can slide over. This you can move. Slide too. This move. Yeah. Come on, get in the here. The chairs work get both in ways. Here. Yeah, okay. If, if yeah. I was JT, you'd be right here. Right <laughs> here. Uh, all right. Uh, we're so excited to be up here in Canada. First ever know-it-alls outside the United States. How are you doing tonight, I, I'm great. I'm great. Uh, it's great to be here uh, with, with all of you and with you. Rob, I... I, I love you. You're, oh, uh, Steven. You're my it guy up here on, on a real level. <laughs> good, good, because I was worried this was going to be just a me podcast. Yeah. But I'm, just, I'm happy to hear that we're going to turn it around. Yeah. It'll be a we podcast. <laughs> a we podcast with all, with all of you. So very exciting stuff to go through here tonight. Uh, usually we're someplace where we have no cell phone reception, but we're gonna be able to maybe take some questions from you guys, oh, both fun. in person, and then we'll be checking Twitter also. So use that RHAP hashtag as well for that. And then uh, of course- well, uh, yeah, if, it, if it gets boring, you're gonna start like checking Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then of course, uh, for you guys listening to the audio version, full slate of podcasts tomorrow, we've got our exit interview, the sheriff. <laughs> Sierra Dawn Thomas. The sheriff is down. She went out guns blazing, Stephen. Yeah, yeah. Who shot the sheriff? Yeah, who shot the sheriff? Yeah. It was, it was the deputy. It was uh, yeah. Officer Sarah. Oh, my God. Friendly fire. Yeah. Uh, and then Adam Klein is going to join me for the recap as well on Thursday. So, busy... Busy Survivor Podcast Day uh, coming up, but Stephen, we have to start with uh, your friend Sarah Lucina. Yes. What Does she get a fishy today? I, you know, I, we'll have to see. Well, no, of course, of course. I mean, what an epic episode for Sarah. Uh, it was such like until this point, I really feel like Sarah's been playing this game where she's been doing fine. She's been playing a really good, solid game, right? Like she had a move where she flipped alliances, and it was a big move, and like we didn't know if it was going to be a good move or not. It turned out okay for her. You know, last week we saw her. She she went along with the vote, and you know, smart was, was the right decision. But I feel like this was the signature move. You know, she was able to both, you know, use her relationships to get information, and then like use that information against her her own allies to vote them out. And it was such a big move. It was so devious. Like really, like who says I love you and then vote someone out? It was unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah. Just can't get over that. Also, like my favorite moment of the episode was Sarah's face at Tribal Council as Sierra is walking out. We're like, Sarah's like, oh, what happened? <laughs> like, that was amazing. It's really good. I, I mean, a couple of things came uh, together tonight. Where we've been waiting for two seasons for the Legacy Advantage to do something. Mm -hmm. And this was the night, finally, where the promise of the Legacy Advantage was fulfilled in my mind. Because I have been saying that going back to last season, 
Jessica had the legacy advantage, and then she told Ken, well, Ken, just so you know, I trust you, and I had the legacy advantage, and he said, apparently this is a good thing, <laughs> so I, I'll never vote against you. So good, good. And she's like, I'll give it, no, I'll give it to you if I get voted up. Okay, apparently that's, that's still cool. <laughs> uh, and so finally, it was like, yeah, if you tell somebody you're going to give them the legacy advantage, the logical thing is to vote them out of the game. Yeah. <laughs> so that you get that legacy advantage. It's, it's really, really rare that you get to see the exact moment when someone's game implodes. And we did that tonight with Sierra. Like, you yeah. see that thing she says, which is so crazy. I know we'll, I know we'll get to that uh, a little bit later. But yeah, the legacy advantage, like, this was why the legacy advantage is in the game. Having, you know, having someone turn on their ally... To, to get the legacy advantage and keep their allies' trust. Like, this was the perfect moment and play for the legacy advantage. Now we never yeah. have to see it again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I, I don't want to pile on the, the sheriff uh, too much here, but I feel like that she had a good instinct to say, hey, right. I have this advantage. Don't, like, let's work together. Don't vote me out. Bad to say, and then if I get voted out, yeah. you get it. Yeah, she, it's funny because like, you, you, she pauses right before she says it. You know, she says it perfectly, right? She says, you know, it's like an immunity idol. And Sarah's like, oh, tell me more, an immunity idol. We can play the final six. And then she, like, Sierra hesitates, and you can like, see the thought go, like, running through her head. And then she just blurts it out. And you know, she's had this advantage all game long. She's been wondering who she, she can share this information with. And then she just shares like, a little bit too much. And it's, you know, I mean, who hasn't, tired and hungry, like said the wrong thing at the wrong time? Yeah, it's just it's such a bad thing to say that you'll give it away. And, and I've been confused about the legacy advantage in terms, for a lot of reasons, but in terms <laughs> of that, I don't know why Jeff at the start of the season doesn't say right. it's out there, somebody has it, right. and it's a good reason to, to go for people because she never has to volunteer that information that I give it away. Like when Sarah was talking with Michaela, she talked about how, hey, Sierra has this advantage. We have to get rid of her. She leaves out the part that she can gift it to somebody right. after she's yeah. out of the game. So as far as anybody else is concerned, there's no, okay, we put out the fire with the legacy advantage. Now it's gone. Michaela could ask, hey, why do they call it a legacy advantage? <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird name yeah. for it, right? Yeah. If it's just like an idol, why do they call it that? I'm like, I don't know. That's yeah. weird. But uh, it'll be, you know, th I feel like that that's the thing. If people don't know that you can pass it on, like, you didn't have to say anything with that. Right. I mean, the only downside to, to Jeff, like, saying something at the start of the season is that then everyone's going to just be going through each other's backs, you know, all game long. It's like, uh, she, she walked away from camp. Let's go through her back. Because someone's got a legacy advantage. Yeah. That doesn't already happen? Well, I don't know. But with, with like, especially, I guess it does happen. But, like, at merges or swaps, like, people will be going through each other's stuff when, when there isn't an opportunity to hide it, you know, in a way where, like, with idols, like, you don't really know when that person has an idol. Now, I love the move that Sarah made. I was so happy that somebody finally did this. And uh, I've been higher on Sarah than you have the last couple what? of weeks. No, you always, yeah. you always put these words in my mouth. No, no, that is Have I been higher on true. Sarah? No. Do no. not come no. down on Fake news, news. <laughs> fake news. That is absolutely not the case. Two weeks ago, I thought, I thought the, the vote was, Sarah's decision was much better than you thought it was. Mm. Um, yeah, you are totally revising history. You're just using your, so. you know, your influence to throw yeah. me under the bus. Yeah. Now, let me, but let me ask you this, okay? So we all love the move for TV. It was great stuff. But this is the kind of thing that when people talk at Ponderosa, yes. Sierra Don Thomas will very quickly find out that Sarah was one of the votes. Whoever comes out next is going to say, oh, yeah, Sarah voted for you. Uh, right, well, yeah, 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 that's right. Um, so is this the kind of thing, is, now, now we, we all like, okay, Sarah has been playing, like, she's not the cop, she's the criminal this time around. Is she potentially, like, this is a move that a Russell Hance would make, this is a move that a uh, Boston Rob in the All-Stars would have made. Is Sarah playing an unwinnable game in your mind? Well, so actually the person who I was thinking like most compared to was Dawn Meehan, right, who... She had these really close relationships with people. She used those relationships to get information about who people were voting for, and then she would use that information against those same people. So, you know, it, it, you know, I, I feel like even like Russell and Boston Rob didn't trade on their like deep personal connections with people in that way, in a way that makes people really feel deceived and hurt. But something that all three of those people have in common is that they were all losing finalists. Right. So, do you? Do Which you is a prestigious like position to be in. Yes. <laughs> yes. Of course. Of course. <laughs> But do you, are, are, you, are, are you looking at Sarah as somebody who you feel like is uh, like has an inside track to win? Or do you feel like you're looking at her as somebody who's going on to go in front of a potentially angry jury? 
Yeah, I mean, it's such a, you know, it's such a personal thing. Like, there's almost no way to gauge it now, right? Is someone going to be like, wow, you outplayed me? Or is someone going to be super hurt? Like, you betrayed me. I mean, look at that jury right now. How many people did Sarah flip against uh, on that jury? Right. Ozzy, check. Yeah. Debbie, check. Yeah. Zeke, check. uh, Sierra, check. But she also is developing these relationships. So, like, you know, it's... It's just that question of like, how salty are they going to be? Like, I could easily see Zeke voting for Sarah to win. I could see Sierra voting for Sarah to win. Like, you right. played me, you know. I mean, I, Sarah. W- I'm sorry, Sierra has been like a really, really good gamer. You know, this whole season long, I thought she played a great game. We saw very little. She of did hold saw, court know. from the hammock of doom once again, know. Steven. <laughs> hammock curse is a thing. Yeah. You know, Sierra does not get out of that hammock. It's very uncomfortable on Survivor. You know, there's nowhere good to sit down. You know, um, actually, when somebody has a meeting with her, she gets, oh, hold on, let me just get up for a second. You know, you know it's hard. It's yeah, hard. The hammocks so. especially She's are hard to tall. get out of. She's good. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, out of the gate, she had this majority alliance. She kept it together. She didn't do any like crazy moves, like voting against her own alliance. You know, she almost kept Sarah in the fold when Sarah was going to flip. You know, she said to Sarah, "I want you to be in the final three. Then, you know, she loses her majority alliance because, uh, because you know, Sarah gets pissed, basically, about feeling left out, and then Debbie says that thing. Then Sierra immediately kind of scrambles to get back. Um, today, she would have pulled it off. You know, if she had not said that one sentence, it seems like Sierra would still be there, right? Like, it seems like the vote would have flipped back to Andrea. Probably Sarah would have been, you know, arguing on her behalf, too, here. Like, uh, you know, i got to keep Sierra in this game. She's got this, you know, crazy legacy thing. I don't know really what it does, but, you know, I know that she's going to use it for me. Um, if she just hadn't said that one simple sentence, like, she would, she would be there still. Right. Now, Stephen, we move one step closer now to Advantage Get-In coming up this season. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here we are going into next week's episode, the final eight. Yeah. Uh, we have now three idols still in play. Right. Uh, and now Sarah Lucina has the legacy advantage and a vote steal. Yeah. <laughs> and there's only a couple of weeks left to play it. Yeah. Like, this is all happening on one night. Right. right? <laughs> Like this is all. This is all well, Ty's that? advantage almost is definitely going to be played at the final six, right? At least one of them is, right? Because either he plays it at, like at seven and six, or he plays it at. Ty's not going next week, right? Um, so either he plays it at seven and six, or he's playing it at six and five. Uh, Sarah's advantage has to be played at six, and like who knows what Troy's will do? So it's totally possible. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, and it's really coming down to it because now th- those uh, the people that are in the minority, and uh, you know, Brad talked about you know the four, even though Ty had already uh, you know flipped away from them. Ty was one of the votes against Sierra, but now it, that's like a, a very small group, but it's they have a lot of idols uh, yeah. potentially yeah. because uh, Troy still has one, and Ty and Ty has two. Right. I mean, Brad could win immunity again conceivably. Yeah. And then what? Yeah, I, I guess uh, Andrew will finally be voted out, right? I mean, I, I guess yeah. so. I guess that somebody that somebody so certain. Like, I think that this is really hard to figure out what's going to happen next because that normally you'd say, okay, well, this will just be a, continue to be a pagonging. But there's a lot of advantages and idols in play. Right. It, it, I think the game is definitely still up for grabs. You know, in, in terms of you know, yeah. I, al- almost anyone can win. Like Troy Zane, pretty clearly not winning. But I think almost anyone but Troy Zane. <laughs> Just because of his edit. I, I think he's playing a great game. I love Troy's edit. I bet everyone out there loves him too, but I don't think he's going to win the game. Yeah. 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 Look, you are unapologetically Troy Zan fan number one. Yeah. I'll thank give you, you that. Yeah, yeah. That one, yeah. that's, that's, that's all you. Uh, yeah. yeah, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah. So I, I want to talk a little bit about Michaela. Okay. Because I thought that uh, she was really all over the, the place tonight. Oh, I thought she had a great night. You know, she, just in terms of sort of taking control of her own destiny, you know, building this bond with Ty and positioning her and Ty as the kind of, as the swing vote. You know, their n- initial plan was like, let's take out Andrea because then we are really positioned right in the middle of these two alliances. That's a pretty good plan, right? And then being able to situationally say, okay, Sarah has this thing. I want to get it out of the game. Let's switch it. No. <laughs> uh, I think Michaela and Ty, to me, is like the worst alliance. <laughs> it's, it's the alliance of, okay, wh- whoever we're mad at today, we're gonna vote, with, we're gonna vote against them. And, and you saw that she swung, not so much, like, I don't even know what their plan is. Like, what are their numbers? But it's like, okay, well, we're mad, today we're mad at, uh, you know, we're mad at Andrea today. So now we're voting Andrea out of the game. Oh, no, now we're mad at Sierra. I think uh, that's, I, I totally disagree with you. I think that their, their decision to vote out Andrea, they give you a really, like, very explicit good dis- reason, which is that if we take out Andrea now, then we're more balanced between these two opposing sides. I think no one is coming for Michaela and Ty, right? You've got these two like big alliances. Like, why shouldn't the people at the bottom of those two groups 
groups team up and be like, let's pick off one from here and one from there. I think that's a perfect play. Yeah, that's what Will Wall thought too, Steven. <laughs> I don't know. That, uh, with Michaela, what happened to Sari is my number one? Ah, me, me and Sari have an unbreakable bond. We're never gonna, never gonna go against Sari. And everybody's like, yes, okay, this is great. This is a, like they're gonna go to the final three. Now all of a sudden, Michaela's like, I'm gonna throw Andrea under the bus. I'm coming. I'm coming for Andrea. That, like that's kind of screws Sari over. Like, uh, what happens? That there was no mention of her bond with Sari. Yeah, but once they vote Andrea out, then they can swing back and vote with Sari. That, I mean, that's I, when you feel like it's good. You don't think like Mika you think just because it didn't make air, like Michaela never even like once thought like what it might mean for Sari. No, I, I don't think. I mean, she's talking about I'm gonna go with Brad and Sierra and Ty and yeah. Troyzan. She's trying to make a final five deal with them. She's not saying that. And then I'm gonna go back and work with Sari. Yeah, but go yeah, back it is sort of what she that. said, right? Like when she, when she said like let's take out Andrea because we're better. Or that makes us more in the middle. It is kind of like the idea is that then we can you know if, we're, if you're in the do middle. You guys, do you guys feel like that that was Michaela's plan to get back with Sari? Yeah. 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 I'm hearing some overwhelming no's. That's not, that is absolutely not what you heard <laughs> for the people on the podcast. You are only, this is like, yeah, <laughs> you have a big filter. Like, you only hear the things you want to hear. <laughs> I, I, that, so, yeah, she's just like so emotional. And uh, to me, I, I just like, uh, even her mom had to say, like, Michaela, come on, calm down. <laughs> in, in, together, in the Michaela. moment of like, like, like the challenge, she but kicked I, the box. <laughs> I, I'm sure I get some boxes too when I lost things or, or you know, <laughs> scored own goals or whatever. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so okay, let's talk about the reward because I'm already ready to disagree with you about um, <laughs> the 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 choice of who they picked. Okay. No, I actually think that they made uh, the the best possible choices. Okay. Fine. All right. Okay. That's fine. All right. <laughs> so let's. So, all right. So what? So all right. So what do you? So what do you think? No, I, 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 I kind of agree with that. I, I, yeah. I, I mean, S Sarah was... You're so argumentative for argumentative <laughs> sake. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, you know. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, Sarah was definitely the right person to, uh, to take, right? She's the, the crucial swing vote See, who everyone wants. Here's what I thought that they did wrong in terms of... I thought they picked the, the, the right people, but I thought they went about it wrong. It okay. looked like, and again, we, we only see a couple of minutes of it, but it seemed like they didn't consult Brad. And then it seemed like it was, oh, Andrea made the pick and, uh, and uh, Aubrey. Aubrey made the pick. And it seemed like that Brad was sort of left out of it. So there was really no blood on his hands. Now, did Brad have a say in it or was he outvoted? Like, was Brad like, really pushing for a choice? But it, it'd be great if you could sort of say, like, if you get Brad to say one of the names. Right. Then you could sort of like, he would take some of the blame for it. Yeah. But it just looked like, oh, they just picked her and they picked her and we're on the bottom of the alliance. But what are you going to do? You're going to take Michaela and then you're going to leave Sari back there? That would have been, there's a, there's a strong argument to make for that move, right? Right. But for Sari, is, is that going to sit well with her? I sort of am more concerned about, you're going to piss somebody off. Right. I'd rather piss off the person who I am the least afraid of. But but but, but Andrea and, we see Andrea and Sari together all the time, right? Like I would be less. I do think taking Sari is probably the right move in here, here, and I think that you know with these rewards and especially the family visit, there's this whole like other like politics that like sh that like grows up around it in terms of you know at camp like who deserves it the most or whatever. Like this is hashed out endlessly at camp for you know 30 days. But you know there's an argument to be made for taking the person who you're less close close with and leaving them more you know, the more strategic person back at camp. There would be an argument for that, possibly, if, if you would like to work that out ahead of time, but I don't think that yeah. Sari was gonna be cool with, yeah, right. no, I don't need to have the loved ones visit. I'll stay back at camp. You guys enjoy it if we have the opportunity to be, like, Sari wanted the loved ones visit. So if you're gonna piss off somebody, don't piss off one of the greatest Survivor players ever. <laughs> <laughs> it, but but do you think Sari is going to, like, if she's left back at camp, is Sari going to be like, screw these guys, like, I'm, I'm going against them now? I don't know. She might. Yeah. I, 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 I'd rather Michaela was mad at me than Sari. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I agree with you. I was, I was hoping to disagree with you, but I do agree with okay. you. Okay. <laughs> and then in terms, of, in terms of Sarah, I think that, that that's probably the second most yeah. dangerous player that you're going to alienate. So I think that they actually, they got the people right. They got the order right. Yeah. It just, like, would have been great. It just made it seem like that Brad had no say in it. Maybe he didn't. But it would have been great if you could have had Brad pick one of those people. I mean, the way that Andrea was talking about it was almost mo worse than the thing she actually did. Just to be like, hey, yeah, Michaela, she's fine. We'll give her a day to cool off and then whatever. Like, it showed that she wasn't necessarily taking it as seriously as maybe she should be. 
I mean, but that was in confessional. We didn't get to see again what ever happened when they got back right, from right. the reward challenge in terms of uh, in terms of smoothing it over. Did you like how they did it? That this is, I, I think the first time that they've divided the the uh, the group into teams of three. I, actually, I don't think we've ever done a reward challenge at nine or, or the family visit family at nine. Visit, yeah. uh, unless did we do it at nine uh, for, you, for you guys? Yeah, it was. Not nine. Yeah, so I guess that's the new yeah. that's the new thing. Uh, so. Yeah, it's, it's early to do it, and they split them up into groups, and then it was a group of three that had to pick, uh, you know, pick. I kind of liked it actually because it was a little bit more random, like who was with whom, right? Yeah. What I did like was then the picking was like there was a lot of people that got a loved ones, and there was only a couple people that didn't get loved ones visits. I think that's what they try to do, right? Have like the majority of people have loved ones, so the people who are left out feel like extra salty yeah. about it. Yeah. 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 How how pumped were yeah. you guys to yeah. see Monica Culpepper? Yes. <laughs> As a neat, the neat lady was back. Yeah, I was amazed at like the huge cheer that came. I mean, not amazed, but like, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I, I, Toronto yeah, loves did. Monica Culpepper. Yeah, it, was yeah. a big, <laughs> it was a big pop in the room for when Monica Culpepper came yeah. on. You guys were really excited for Monica Culpepper. I liked when Monica was like, all right, here's what's going on. Yeah. Like, there's, uh, and Kayla's going to flip. She's going to yeah. flip. I know it. I know it. Uh, I thought it was also, it was a wonderful metaphor. She was flipping burgers as right. she was talking about Michaela. It was like, the, 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 Michaela was the burger. She is going to flip. Yeah. And, but, and Brad was like, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, when you have a stud survivor player like Monica Culpepper, yeah. that's what Brad said. Um, all right, so uh, Stephen, what? Oh, okay. what do you say? I don't oh, know. No, go ahead. Next week, yeah. What 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 happens? Andrew goes home. An wow. Really? Oh, yeah. Now I don't like that. I don't want that to happen. Yeah. Okay, you jinxed her now. If she goes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday to Andrea, happy by birthday, the way. Andrea. Yeah, yeah. And this week, uh, Andrea tweeted this, that she's the seventh player ever to make 100 days in the, in the Congratulations show. Congratulations yeah. to Andrea. <laughs> but short of an immunity win, right, there's no way Andrea's not going home next week. No, well, I, don't, I don't see that. Why do you say that? Like, what is, what is the coalition that is voting against Andrea next week? Because I mean, it's, I think it's, it's eight. Eight's hard to do a flip. Everyone but Aubrey, Andrea, and Sari. Everybody but Aubrey. Or maybe maybe Michaela still votes with Aubrey, Andrea, and Sari, but the rest of the other group votes Andrea out. I mean, two things. One, right, like, Andrea has just, she's had, she, her name has come out so much, that means her name is definitely going to come up again. Uh, everyone thinks she's a huge threat. You know, she's won all these immunity challenges. And she's had, like, a ton of airtime out of nowhere. Uh, so, like, the, it's all, all three things, you know? It's like, she's, she's been targeted, she is a threat, and, like, a, a little, you know, very now, dangerous edit. So. I, I reject the, she's got a lot of airtime out of nowhere. I mean, since the merge, Andrea has been one of the central figures right. of the show. Right, yeah. Since the merge, yeah. So <laughs> that's, the, that's the visibility spike yeah, that like, like since the merge? Yeah, you know, it's a, slow, it's a slow burn. Okay, come on. Do you really, who do you think is going home next week, if not Andrea? I feel like it's got to be Brad or Troy or uh, somebody from that group. No. Come on, come on. You, you don't really think it's going to be Troy. <laughs> I mean, that, I think that that group wants to stick together, no? Yeah, I, no, th there's no, definitely there's going to be a flip next week. You know, whether it's Sarah flipping back or, you know, with Ty or Sarah and Michaela, there's definitely going to be a flip next week. Yeah, okay. All right, um, Steven calling his shot with the flip. Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah, I don't think, Ceri yeah, I think it, I think it's Andrea, right? I, I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't want it to happen. Yeah, I don't like Andrea. <laughs> you're, 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 jinxing. you're jinxing. I'm not jinxing. Now, again, no. the, other, the other thing with that, and you have to be very careful with the 4-4, four, four, is that potentially you could inadvertently launch the rock draw sequence. Yeah, right. They're going to be super, super cautious about that. It so. has not yeah. borne any fruit so far this season. I'll bet it has, like, subtly with just, like, the way people are thinking about the game, but, yeah, I, I, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you think? Of, do you think when Sarah said, you know, right, Sarah says to Sarah... Uh, uh, you know, I've, I've got this legacy advantage. I will, you know, I'll give it to you. Sarah says right after she's gets this confessional, um, wow, I, that made me want to keep Sierra. Is she lying to herself and to us? I think that maybe in the moment she was sort of flattered yeah. of like, oh, you know, that kind of makes me want to keep her. I mean, she started this episode off that she wanted to vote out Brad. Yeah. She, and, and, and I thought that that was odd because I thought that Sarah was tight with Brad. I feel like that in secret scenes, we've seen them talk about that they have a bond. I didn't right. know why Sarah all of a sudden, she had, w with, was working with Zeke, 
that she wanted to work with Brad and Troy and bring in Michaela and Zeke and go to the final five with, with them. Right. Now, all of a sudden, Brad was out, but Sierra was in. It seems like Sierra, though, has great relationships with everybody, right? I mean, you know, Sierra has said a couple of times to her how, like, she's her number one friend out there. You know, I mean, I think that there's, she's, she's close with everyone. <laughs> she's done a really great job with the social game so far this season. You everybody, know what? Oh, go ahead. So that she, every, everybody loves Sarah. Yeah. In, Coming to CBS. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In these scenes with her, you know, I, that conversation with Sierra and Sarah is such like, a great lesson in how to play like uh, something like that. You know, Sierra is talking, and, and Sarah's answers are so short and monosyllabic. It's like, she's like, okay, yeah, okay, sure. What does that mean? You know, like, she does not give away a single thing. She does not, like, show her hand You at feel all. like that's her tell, though? Her, her tell is not telling anything? <laughs> her tell is just being, like, really short. Like, when somebody is lying to you, they're sort of just, like, trying to, like, end the conversation and be, uh -huh. like, really brisk with you. As they're, like, agree to whatever you say. Yeah. And then, <laughs> are you lying about this? Uh, and whereas somebody who's really engaged with you is probably telling the truth. Right. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, 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 uh, <laughs> I, 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 have we seen her? I, I think even when she's making like real plans, she's still pretty. She's still pretty terse and honest a lot. We have to go back and check the tape. Yeah. We'll do a, uh, a video edit. Even with Zeke by the well, I felt like you know when she. I mean, granted, she did a, end up turning on Zeke that episode, but you know when they, it seemed like they, she might not. Um, you know, it, it was her. She seemed pretty like you know more more receptive than than actually active. Yeah. All right, uh, you want to bring some people up here? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I want to bring up a pair of survivors that are here with us tonight. Yay. Yes? Good? Good? Okay. All right, please welcome. First, you heard his musical styling. <laughs> he came all the way up here. It's so much fun at the last note. I'll please welcome Brett LaBelle. <laughs> and then... Steve has two microphones here. And then also, we had her cousin at one of the <laughs> first know it alls, but here she is, the genuine article, Shireen Scooey. <laughs> here you go. So I, I feel like you guys are like a, like a fun tag team. Uh, could be. Uh, <laughs> Shireen, how are you doing? I'm all right. I'm drinking water now. Okay, you're drinking water. As, as, <laughs> from earlier or from when your cousin was here? From, well... We went to dinner, Rob. You didn't come. Yeah, I know. <laughs> all, all the survivors had a fun dinner without me. It was really fun. Probably because Probably, of that. Probably, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right. So, first, Brett, let me start off by asking your take on Michaela in this episode. Uh, do I have it wrong with Michaela? No, I mean, listen, Michaela's great. I love her. She's my friend. Uh, she's out there. But what you're seeing, like, when it, when she gets very competitive. Like, when she kicked the box, at the, that, you know, that's how she's going to be at the challenge. She gets into it. If, she, if you're not winning, she's going to tell you what you're doing wrong. And, uh, you know, it's not going to float very well with some people, as we see, you know. But um, I think, uh, I think she's, she's hanging in there. The question, my question is, you know, um, you know if, she, if she gets to the end, you know, how many people did she piss off along the way? That's what fears me with Michaela. Yeah. Can Michaela win? I believe she can win, yeah. Yeah, yeah I believe she can win. Who, who, who? But those booze? Oh, Oz, okay. Not, not see, that, this season. I think she, uh, see, this is hard, because she's my friend, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Here, all right, let's get Shireen. Shireen, uh, can, can Michaela win? Not on this Not season. Not on this season. <laughs> In a different season with people who liked her, she could win. <laughs> yeah. Yes. In too. a different season, she could win. Yeah. yeah. No, it doesn't seem like that uh, she's made a lot of allies out there this season. Uh, I mean, she has Ty now, but... Hey, look, hey, look, the season that Terry Dietz could win, Michaela could win. Whatever the fuck season that is. <laughs> so, oh, Panama. when did Terry so Dietz Panama. Come on, he was, he was one challenge away. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, she needs to... I she was four. She was already out. Michaela needs... You know, she, she needs to reel it in. And yeah, my fear is that, you know, you're hearing a lot of people coming off saying a lot of bad things about her on a certain podcast. So I think, I think it's going to be very hard uh, for Are you us? Well, yeah, no, I mean, just the, the exit interviews. People are oh, not yeah, oh, saying okay. the best things. A couple, you know. So I, I think, yeah, I think, I think it's going to be very tough for her to win. I think she'd get to the end because, I mean, there's plenty of people that probably want to sit next to her at this point. Yeah. 
Now, Shereen, I know that you're a big Thai fan. Is that still true? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so what, what, what do we think about the other side of that? I mean, I feel like that Thai is uh, similarly in a position where it's like these two are at the bottom, but I feel like that he doesn't have a shot either. Uh, I actually think that he does have a shot this yeah. season because uh, unlike... <laughs> Because unlike Michaela, a lot of people do have a lot of compassion and love for Ty that she's just not getting out of these people. And so you're not seeing people respect him in terms of like giving him a voice and an opinion in terms of the vote and that kind of thing. But this guy is packing two idols. He already played a third one for somebody else. Uh, he, sit, he's, he does phenomenally in challenges. He's sitting on a great resume and people just love him. I know that he cooks a lot at camp. He works a lot at camp. You see a lot of that footage. That's the difference. And you're seeing that even in the edit. Like you're seeing people be compassionate towards Ty in a way that they're not towards Michaela. We didn't see Michaela being compassionate towards Ty when she was like dragging, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dragging wow. him through the uh, challenge. Yeah. 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 How great was Mark the human? Yeah. <laughs> Mark, the, yeah, Mark the human and Ty. Yeah. yeah, not bad. Not bad, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was exciting. I, but I just feel like that tie was so lovable in Ko Rong. I feel like that we don't get that tie this season. Ty doesn't have a chicken's chance in hell of winning this season. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think, like, Based like, on the edit, yeah, but I'm saying if he ends up in the final three with, like, Michaela and... Troyzan. <laughs> I defy you to tell me that Troyzan wins. Yeah, I, but I don't think... Like, don't, you're, you're just wrong. Like, you're just sound wrong. effects from the audience. Troyzan whips it out of his pants and then wins. I think, I think idol, so. idol, idol. <laughs> so, you know, I think uh, Troyzan's making more friends out there than Ty is, but uh, we'll see. We'll have to Ty see. Ty does play like two idols, right? Then he will have played three idols. That's a pretty impressive. Yeah, he's got a great, sh he's got a great shot of getting there, right? Yeah, and yeah. he slays at the challenges too, and these people care about that. Yeah. Now, going back to Ty, that I felt like there didn't seem like to be a lot of damage control following that you had uh, Brad and Sierra and Troy Zan put a vote on him last week. It was like, oh, yeah, Ty, Ty's like, you guys voted for me? And uh, they were like, yeah, we did. <laughs> and then it's like, I guess we can't work with Ty anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Did, did, uh, did, did you feel like that there was there was sufficient damage control? No, yeah. no, clearly yeah. not. I mean, now Ty is a free agent, right? Yeah, but then I mean, it seemed like that he was open to going back with them. Yeah. So that uh, do you think that Ty is uh, is upset about that, Shereen? I mean, like this is this is one thing that I struggle with in my friendship with Ty is that I find him to be too magnanimous and forgiving. <laughs> <laughs> really t terrible traits in a friend. <laughs> Pursue this line of questioning any further. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Brett, your uh, your your fellow officer, Sarah. Yes, Sarah. Uh, what, what what have you made of her this season? Man, I'll tell you, I wasn't, I didn't have a lot of stock in Sarah early on, but man, she has really uh, pulled ahead here. Um, I, I'm really enjoying it, and I'm I'm kind of I'm finding myself rooting for Sarah, you know. Yeah. And Michaela. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you don't feel competitive with like the other the other cop on the show? No, listen, cop, we all support each other. I'm I'm very excited. I think she's Cops playing a great us. game. The only thing that um, I am worried about, and I think you guys uh, touched on this a little bit, at least Stephen did. You know, she. You're right. Sierra is going to find out that she voted for her. So how many? I, I'm worried about when we get to the end. You know, how many people are going to be frustrated with her? I mean, Zeke too. I mean, you know, we got to. I mean, you know, Zeke's a little easier because he's a huge fan and a, and a, and a tough, a right. hard player, so he might actually applaud her for it. But, you know, how, how many people is she really pissing off? That's what I'm worried about. Now, I wonder with the jury on this particular season where everything has been drilled into these guys of game changers, right. big moves, who made the biggest moves, who changed the game. Uh, could that, this be a jury that potentially rewards that type of behavior? Well, to that end, I have a question. In um, pregame press, and this might have actually been in a Josh interview who is here. Uh, Whoa. Wiggla! Wiggla! Uh, Jeff, Jeff Probst, I believe, said uh, that they were going to do something special with this jury to mitigate a bitter jury. Um, and Josh, you know what I'm talking about? 
They, they were talking about. Well, 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 you well, know, well let's have. Well, uh, sorry. Josh isn't on mic, so uh, we'll we'll ask. Jo- Josh is gonna come up in a little bit. We'll talk. We'll we'll talk to him about that. Stand down, Josh. Stand down. Yeah. <laughs> I, I absolutely like. You know, I think that returning players, and especially in this era, do feel some obligation to vote for a deserving winner. But it's just a question of what people right decide means deserving, and that's like the cool and the fun and the awful thing about Survivor is that every jury gets to decide what it values as important, right? And, and I mean, yes, you see every one of these players come through the game being like, I gotta make big moves, that's what the season is about, it's game changers, we gotta make big moves. And to a certain degree, I think that has been drilled into them. I mean, I've said this before, but in Second Chances, you know, a big criterion for the jury was like, who's made the most of their second chance, you know? And so I think there's definitely gonna be the question of like, who changed the game? Yeah. Trent, did you see any change in uh, Sierra Don Thomas from the Sierra that you played with in Worlds Apart, or was it the edit that was different this time around? I mean, certainly it felt like she was trying to be more aggressive at times, but the difference is, like, I think what you didn't see in the edit of Worlds Apart was that there were times when she was similarly seemingly aggressive and seemingly playing, Mm -hmm. But she never had any intention to flip. She never had any intention to make those, n- those moves that she was selling. And I think we did see a lot of that this time around, where she was like talking to people that she never really had any intention of working with uh, or like, you know, keeping promises with. Like, she doesn't like Michaela. You can see, like, she says that directly. You can hear it in her voice. You can see it in the way that she looks and speaks to Michaela. And then she just like wants to use her because she happens to be on the bottom, but then like throw her away the next round as soon as she can. Like I don't think that she's reading the game properly. I think that she just wants to stick to Brad and Troy blindly the way that she did in Worlds Apart with the other like athletic, you know, aggressive mm-hmm. men. And uh, and I see a lot of the same Sierra. I think the maybe like there is a little bit more of like a sinister aspect to her Sierra. like a more aggressive a bit of a mean girl there's definitely more whining she did not whine that much in worlds apart she is whining so much about how hard it is oh my god jesus let me give the i'll give the sheriff some credit because that we it's so we, hard to own horses yes it is <laughs> look yeah, let, 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 yeah 30 of them 30 horses, 30 horses, that, that forget, yeah, it's hard, it's harder than kids. A lot of horses. Uh, but I will say that, you know, I did not give her a lot of credit coming into the season, was not excited to see her back. She did something. Yeah. She was, she that, yeah. I, yeah. It was fine. Yeah, she, she, she definitely she used Ty's idol. She totally yeah. did that. No, wait, but did you not think, though, um, I, you didn't think she. So you're saying when she was in the water with Michaela, you found that to be super phony and bad. I because when I mean I, I, I felt like it was phony. I think she genuinely wanted Michaela's vote, but right. I think that the phoniness was in, in that it was like it was very one sided, and I think it was it wasn't. I think Survivor like you when you have a conversation like that, even if it's just in that moment, it needs to be two ways. Do you know right. Do you know what I'm trying to say here? And like and I feel like in Sierra's mind, she was like, oh, let me just get like Michaela's vote, <laughs> and like. Get it, like you know, get it over. Get back with. in the hammock, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I back in the saddle. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, back in the saddle, yeah. no? Okay. <laughs> I thought it was a pretty good line, but. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, Toronto! <laughs> I want to win them over. Yeah. That's why you you guys are a great counterbalance for each other. <laughs> the yin and yang. I'm sorry, I need more alcohol. Okay. Yes, <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, how about Suri? Uh, that, uh, let me... I mean, who doesn't love Suri? Everybody, uh, everybody loves Suri. She makes beautiful children, too. She, yeah. Uh, uh, Suri, Suri, Suri's, son was, Suri's son was hilarious. Yeah, yeah people, people are already clamoring for Jared to come back. Steven, are, are we potentially though? We all love Suri, right? Are are we overrating what she's no. up to? No, no. Just oh checking. Rob thinks Suri is overrated. You heard it here first. No. Yeah. Silent assassin. Yeah, it's good. No, if anything, I think Suri is not getting enough credit. You know, we're seeing a yeah. lot of decisions. Yeah. You know, like last week, for example. You know, you had 
so much of like Sarah's decision whether or not to vote with the group or not. But Sari, who's like in everybody's ear and is running all over the beach and making sure everyone is happy, we got actually very little relatively of her. So I actually think we're not seeing enough of everything Sari is doing. Yeah, I, I think that the one area where we really see that is that her name doesn't come up. Right. That, right. You know, you Ever. would think that she'd be such a big target, and uh, you know, she's in so good with everybody that people aren't considering her when they really should be. Well, you know, I was listening to your podcast with Nick Ayadanza, Nick Sester Ninas, and he uh, yeah. yes, he, he, he had good a day, great, Nick. He had a great <laughs> observation. He had a great observation that being able to appear calm on Survivor is like an inestimable skill. And like, it's actually really, really hard. I, I always thought I was trying to appear calm, but it never worked. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, so the fact that she can, she has this like calm demeanor, that's freaking hard. Yeah. She does a really good job. Yeah. I mean, I, fa- I think that trouble. the fact that Sierra, or that Sari was picked first as the guest loved one speaks volumes in terms of yeah. right. like yeah. what she's doing out there. Yeah. And we're, for whatever reason, not seeing <laughs> There's a lot of yas. <laughs> um, yeah, but I think... Um, I just totally agree with what Steven's saying on this front. I don't think we're seeing enough of what Suri is doing out there. Mm. And I, She's just know, being regular. But I think she might be in trouble coming up. That's all. Yeah. Why? Why? I think that's what the edit is speaking because towards. Because I think sure. we're just getting, we're getting way too, we're getting down the numbers and, you know, I think no, that, Nobody wants to sit with her at the end of the game. I don't think so. She's going to win that. Yeah. yeah. So can Sari win? Can Sari win? Absolutely. No, but can she get to the end? Like, can she make it to the end? (sighs) I think it's going to be really tough for her to get to the end because I don't think there's a soul out there right now that wants to take her to the end. See, well, well, we we can't hear you guys. We can't hear you guys. So (laughs) just to go back to the Michaela thing, I thought that that was the best thing for Sari because I thought that Michaela was that person that could win that final three challenge and potentially like uh, undo Micronesia and take Sari to the end. But I just feel like I, I'm not hearing Michaela talk about Sari. No, nope, uh, not at all, which is interesting. Yeah. They had but that but you're not hearing about who Michaela wants to take to the end really, like, all that often anyway. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. Um, let's uh, touch on a little bit about the legacy advantage. Uh, the legacy advantage was uh, a big part. In, well, it was in Millennial versus Gen X. Yeah. Uh, is, is your mind yeah. blown? When no, I'll tell you when my mind's blown. Yeah. Is every time he... Reenacts his voice. I get. I have to go back to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Think of being out there next to the someone fire. Someone still has a problem oh. with me. <laughs> um, that's like the legacy advantage was a dud on my season. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, we, 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 I remember we're all sitting there, and, and and all of a sudden he'd get up and do his long stroll over the, <laughs> put his knee up. Yeah. Took it out of his boot, which I don't think showed. <laughs> yep, I have a legacy advantage. And we're like, what in the hell's going on now? It's like, it's just crazy. So, but it really didn't. He wasn't in jeopardy that night, and it really kind of fell flat. The uh, it didn't do, I think, what maybe CBS and what Jeff wanted it to do. But that was like the first time, right? That an advantage had been played that, that was nobody one, yeah. knew about, right? And and what, what, doesn't it kind of like didn't it kind of like blow your mind? Like, oh my God, who, who knows what else is out here? Yeah. You, well, I mean, you were, you started to think to yourself, what does everyone else have? Like, yeah, I yeah. Like, I missed this too? Yeah. What the hell else did I miss? Yeah. Um, but, you know, because it didn't do anything, it was like, whew. You know, because, you know, at day thir- I think it was day 36 for us. At day 36, you know, that can be a crushing blow when somebody walks up with something like that, you know, when you're playing hard. So, yeah. as, you, as you guys know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Brett, Shireen, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you to these guys. Can I just say, look at the turnout here, Rob. Is this amazing turnout? This is, the, this is the biggest crowd we've had yet for one of these shows. All right, so... I'm stealing a pen. Right, let, let, you're stealing a pen. You're stealing a pen. All right, let's, get, let's bring up Josh Wiggler. Here he is. Here he is, everybody. Just Josh Wiggler in Hello. the flesh on a know-it-all. Steven, is this awkward for you? It's awkward for me. <laughs> this is the first time we've it's all a little been, uh, uncomfortable. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Josh, could you uh, could you speak to what Shireen was uh, referring to? Was it was there actually something that they were trying to do this season? No, I I think you know, you know, to to think about it historically, I mean, Game Changers is filming two weeks after the Korong finale airs. 
and not to open that door again. We've been down that road before, but I think that there was a sense that, did the right person win? And we're not getting into that debate, but I think that there was a question about it, and I think it's like, how do we, do we need to fix the jury situation? I don't know what the answer to that question was, but I do know that it was on the mind of people, like, what should we do? Is there something to be done? I'm of mind, I think, Stephen, you said it pretty eloquently, of like, you vote how you're gonna vote. Like, you win Survivor by the way that you win Survivor, and the jury gets to vote for the winner however they see it fit. I don't think the jury system is broken, so. Hopefully there's not too much that's getting, you know, right. But was that just a talking point, or were they actually gonna do something? I don't know, I have no idea where they landed. I know it was at least a conversation of like, is there something that needs to be done? Okay. I, I do think the jury system is broken, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so uh, jo Josh and I normally talk about the story and the characters on the podcast, and uh, this uh, weekend is busy with traveling. We're not going to get a chance to record Wiggle Room. This, this is weekend. our Wiggle Room so right this now. Is it. This We're, is it. You're seeing you are in the Wiggle Room right yeah. now. It's two a very big one. room. It's it's a two room. for one. All right, so uh, Josh, the story of Sierra Dawn Thomas. Uh, well, first of all, to paraphrase a great Survivor player, uh, Sierra Dawn, it's been real. Uh, it's happening. It happened. Um, you know, I, I, think that, I think you're right. I mean, I think there were a few question marks on this cast this season for a season called Game Changers. I don't know that Sierra's like the first person you think of getting that call, necessarily. Uh, she, was, she also wasn't, right? Yeah, she probably, no, I think, I think she was actually literally the last yeah, person yeah. to get the call. <laughs> But she was fine. But she, she was, was fine. fine. She, she was, was fine. She was totally fine. She was, she she was, was totally fine. fine. She, she didn't she, win. You know, she didn't win. She, she, she goes deep into the game. I, you know, the hammock stuff was fun. Like, I think that's fun TV at the very least. You know, she's part of a dominant alliance for a while. I think that it's always enjoyable when you see a dominant alliance crumble, as long as it's not filled with your favorite people. <laughs> yeah. uh, and this maybe wasn't filled with your favorite people. Yeah. And Sari has some power right now, so we're happy about that. Uh, but I, but I, I don't think that she took anything away from the season. I think that you know, I, I think that she deserves a lot of credit for that vote against Malcolm. She's the one who really wants it to go against Malcolm. Uh, Ty is the guy who does supply the idol to make it happen. Uh, but he's like kind of like on the edge of saying something, and Sierra's the one who like pulls that tooth out. It's like, wait, Ty's gonna tell us something really cool. Let's make sure that we get that out there. I thought Sierra played totally fine. Um, I think that Shireen brought up a good point about uh, you know maybe with the people that she didn't really want to work with, like she didn't try super hard, uh, maybe that would be a note for the inevitable third time that Sierra Dawn Oh, put it out in the universe. Yeah. The alternate yeah, universe bell. Do you have that sure. bell with you? No? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and then the story of Officer Sarah, again, takes another turn with the ultimate steal of the legacy advantage. Yeah, I mean, she's really going, you know, full criminal. She's breaking bad. Uh, and and it, was yeah. it was really kind of... She is of like a Heisenberg-type character. Now. Yeah. Just Call like up AJ Mass. Yeah, yeah I, think, uh, I think that that's a decent pick. You know, she really has gleaned a lot from the, the Tony style of play. She's won a Tony here. Uh, you know, she's... She definitely, uh, and you know, she claims that that was kind of the way that she was planning on playing her first time anyway, just really never got a chance to flex those muscles, believe that as you will or don't. Um, but she certainly, you know, she says in that first episode, I'm a cop who's gonna play like a criminal and she's held true to her word. This week was really impressive. Like, I, I do think that there's, you know, it's worth wondering, like, is she burning too many bridges? Like, at a certain point, like, can you win these votes back if you do make it to the end? Like, there will be talk about this. Like, if she keeps going forward, and people who were involved in that vote against Sierra, like, eventually go, oh, yeah, 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 Sarah totally voted for you, and you completely just gave that thing away to, like, someone who was, like, really key in your blind side. Uh, so that's a, that's a question. I think it's a really important question, but it's, it's compelling TV for right now, at the very least. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and, and, and the story of the legacy advantage? Um, I don't know. I mean, now it's active, and I, I think... Now I kind of like it. You know what? <laughs> well, I do. Now well, I'm into you it. You liked it tonight, but you don't I like see it, it again. again. I, uh, I am. I, it'd be fun if, if Sarah got voted out next and somebody like, uh, like, uh, uh, like Michaela wanted it. Like, it's like, all, everybody's like killing each other to get right. the legacy advantage. But I think what's, what's crazy about it, too, is like, did she, when she talks to Michaela and says there's a legacy advantage in the game, does she say, like, 
and then you can will it to somebody no, she else. That. She didn't she say that. She does the right thing. Yeah. So now that legacy advantage remains in the game, but as far as the people that she convinced to vote Sierra She should have called it a different name. Yeah, she maybe. Call, they, she could have called it like the, got the, an idol. The, the, the you lose it if you get voted off <laughs> <laughs> So it's still, really it's still out there and nobody and nobody knows but Sarah. So that's impressive. That's that's good on Sarah. Uh, advantage Geddon is looming. You know, that's that's scary. That should have some deep Hashtag impact. Advantage Geddon. That's coming. That's, good. that's coming. Yeah, I think so. Josh, do you think we're getting two boots next week? The finale is two weeks from tonight, believe it or not. I mean, man, I mean, I kind of hope so. Like, a final seven in the finale is a lot. Too yeah. That's too much. I think, you know, there's even the argument. Is like a final six in the finale too much? I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, are you in... Well, we've had final six in the finale for a while. For a few years I, now. It's been fine. And it, I mean, I think that it tends to be action-packed, but I know that people are divided on it, where it's like, that's a lot to track. I do think, like, going into a final episode, it's, like, really tough to predict. Like, there's so many votes that have to happen that for you to, like, really predict how it's going to go, like, you really got to be clairvoyant. Um, so I think with a seven in the finale, that's way too much. So I guess it's got to be a double boot. Yeah, last season... Well, someone it, just, like, quit. Last season, <laughs> uh, Will Sunday. and Sunday went out in a double boot. Right. Yeah, the, yeah, it's possible that we have some sort of a quit or, uh, or a, met, a medevac possibility. The, the, they didn't mention anything in the commercial about that. Yeah. Uh, all right, so I want to start getting to some of your questions. Uh, if you didn't already, tweet them in hashtag RHAP. And uh, does anybody have any uh, live question they want to ask? Okay. Will, am I going to regret this? Am I, am I gonna, gonna regret it? No. Okay, come on, come on up, real quick. <laughs> real, real quick questions. Don't ask a question that's longer than 20 seconds. Okay. Okay. All right, here, come on over here. Will from America, everybody. <laughs> okay. What's going on? I'm drinking legally here. So cool. Nice. <laughs> All right. Nice. So I just wanted. Yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to know, what do you guys think about um, the loved ones? Um, I think you talked about it in Millennials versus Gen X, but like, which of them would you want to see back on a Blood Water season? Ah! Okay, uh, Mark. <laughs> yeah, you know, well. normally, normally I reserve this comment for the chicken, but Mark the human, damn. Damn. I mean, yeah. Yo, yeah. what up? That was a, that was the standout. Are our, our, our Brad and Monica already off uh, off the, the table for Bloodwater Three? I don't know. Why not? You we, know, we still don't want to see him, though, right? <laughs> Cole, <laughs> Cole Pepper did say in the pregame that Survivor approached him and Monica to co-captain a Bloodwater season. Come on! So I don't know. Absolutely, is not true. I don't, yeah. That's what he says. That's what he says. Yeah. Yeah. Josh, do we know, was Troy Zan's brother his partner for Blood for Water when he was in the mix? I have, no, I, I have no idea. Peter what, Brady. What was his name? He called him Peter. Peter, Peter Brady, Brady. Troy Zan, is that? <laughs> that's the official No, he said there's six kids and he's got the Peter it. Brady. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess his voice was changing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Old people got my joke. <laughs> yeah. uh, and Troy Zan was very Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Anybody else? Was, too. Yes. Yeah. Was it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, we have uh, Suri and Jared. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 It was a quick turn in the room because I think we were all heartbroken that HB didn't come out tonight. HB. Get a three way. Get HB. We were Jared very sad about that, but Jared was great. Jared. Yeah, best Jared out there. Okay. All right, Will. Will from America, everybody. <laughs> Who else is going to? Liana, you, you have a question, or, or are you just are you just giving me the Eliza? <laughs> oh. All right. All right. No, okay. Oh, okay. Right, you're second, you're second. Okay, here's Li Li Liana Boris. Did I shame you into coming up? Did you not have a question? Um, I did a thing with Hunted once. Yes. Oh. And I was like, famous. Yes. <laughs> um, can we talk about Tari? Uh, do we not love her? Wait, are you just pandering to the audience? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> No, I have a question. No, I definitely have a question. So if Troy Zand wins, do we mute me? Or <laughs> no. what happens? Like, do we go join another podcast? Like, that's the mute? Hey, hey, I hey. It's over. Let's not be rash here. I think we give up, yeah? Or no? Yeah. 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 I don't think we're going to have to worry about it. It doesn't seem like Troy is going to win. Click, spin and grin. Click, click, yeah. click, click. Click, 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 click. Yeah, spin and grin. Okay, yeah, no, I don't have a question. Okay, all right. Thank you, Liana. <laughs> great, thank you. It's great, Liana. All right, all right. Come on, come on down. All right. All right. 
And what's your name? Sam. Sam. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you're Sam. Everybody. That's the first season. You know, watching all my life. You yes. Know, that kind of thing. So, so quest, my question is about Ty. So, going back to the tribal council, if he played his idol, would that have improved his game? If he played his idol for, for Sierra? For Sierra, yeah. Well, he voted against Sierra, so I would say no. <laughs> he did. But if he played his idol, would that have changed things for him and for his game and, and that group there? I, you, do you mean in terms of like him being more of a high-profile player, or, or, or do you mean just in terms of his like actual situation in the game? A situation in the game, and could he have won by that? Well, but he, then he'd be preserving a power structure that doesn't actually value him, right? So, like, if he saves Sierra, then he's basically giving over more power to the Sierra, Brad, Troyzan group, where he's still at the bottom of that group, and I, I don't see him going to the finals with that group. So I think for Ty, it makes sense to, like, you know, get rid I, of those people. And I also feel like that that's already the book on him. It's like, Ty, he, you never know when he's going to pull out an idol. Poor like, Sierra. I, I don't, yeah. yeah, I don't yeah. think that <laughs> people will necessarily say, you know what, that really changed my opinion on Ty. Right. Like, he, I, I, I never would have imagined him just pulling out an idol at a random tribal council <laughs> and doing something crazy. Like, that's, that's like, his thing. The other so thing, he, too, is, like, right now, I mean, he, he knows that those people voted against him last week in Troy and Brad and Sierra, so it doesn't really necessarily behoove him to stick with those people. He is comfortable with Michaela as of this episode. There's still the unspoken thing, at least that we're not seeing of him and Aubrey. He might be fairly comfortable with this group right now, can feel like he can bank those two idols for future use, and then feels like he has a decent shot at those final immunities, depending on who's left. Ty might be actually in a really good spot. Yeah. So his idols were better with Andrea than going with Sierra and Brad? I think, I think for now, I think like hanging on to him right now, I'm actually more surprised that like last week when he was being targeted, like, and he, knew, like, it was, he says like, this is the first time I feel like I'm in danger ever and he doesn't play anything he didn't there. Play, yeah, it's that was crazy, that was pretty that wild. But this week it courage. makes sense, yeah. I think, yeah. Okay, all right, thank you, Sam. You no worries. Here's a, here's a Twitter question from the great Humby who wants to know, is it ever good to win the family reward? No. 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 But it's hard. It's yeah. hard to, like, you know, you really want to see your loved one, so it's hard not to do it. And then it's really hard not to do it if you're in that group. Like, I did Did Andrea and Aubrey have a say in not winning that, that challenge? Like, I think Brad Culpepper would have, like, willed the... Monica! Gotta <laughs> see Monica! What's best for Monica? How lame is it that we didn't get a confessional with Monica saying the word Monica? It sucks. What a wasted opportunity. Uh, Steven, you didn't get to be in that spot for like a family visit, but you, in Cambodia, you did have to like choose people to go with you on a reward. How tough is that spot and to be in? And yeah. yeah. Um, it was, it's terrible, you know, because you know that people are gonna be pissed at you, and you also know, yeah, there's, no, there's no win there, right? You, a, you know they're gonna be pissed, and you know that there are gonna be confessionals, like, oh God, that was so dumb of Fishback to choose X person instead of Y person. Like, no matter who you pick, even if it's like the best possible pick, there's gonna be angry people and there's gonna be angry confessionals. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, let's do a couple more questions. Uh, you Steven Pick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your name? Uh, my name's Owen. Owen! Owen oh. Craig! Woo! Owen Craig! We're getting coffee tomorrow. Yeah, sweet. Hi, Owen. Gosh. <laughs> nice. How's it going, man? It's a weird way to meet. Yeah. <laughs> That's a weird way to invite someone to coffee. That's how I always imagined it. <laughs> yes. So uh, I'm pretty fascinated by Andrea's position in this game and the fact that her name keeps coming up. Uh, when someone's in a position like this on Survivor, is there anything they can do? We, you win immunity. <laughs> Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, if they could just like lock down those votes on the bottom. I mean that. I, I mean, Andrea and Sari have like this interesting structure where they're like t uh, two people at the top of this alliance where they're trying to really have each other's back and, uh, and hopefully get to the end with each other. But they need to keep the Michaelas and the Sarahs and the Aubreys and even like Ty now all on board and. That's a lot of like uh, you know balls to keep in the air. But if someone is agreed on as the threat, like short of winning out, they're never gonna make it all the way, right? At six or at five or at four, they're gonna get taken out because like everyone has sort of agreed tacitly, this is the big threat. If we don't get them out, they win. You know, short of like Mike Hall, like Mike Hallway won out, right? Like he won every challenge that, and, and otherwise he would have gone home. Um, is there anyone else who's like come up every single tribal like that, uh, or multiple tribals in a row and has made it to the end and won? I mean. Uh, 
No, David right. Wright lasted quite a few after but, he but, came up. Yeah, but he lost. <laughs> <laughs> eventually, they got like they keep on shooting for him, and then they eventually take him out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, let's do two more, two more questions. Two more questions. Josh, you pick one. Uh, let's go over here. Okay. Come on down. All right. Uh, All right. Come on up. Yes. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Jenny. Jenny. Woo! What up? Woo! Okay. I want to talk about Aubrey. Okay. Can we talk about Aubrey? Sure. Woo! Someone. Okay. So this might be a weird theory. Obviously, if we're gonna look at the like the edit, we're talking about people that could win. We're saying Sarah, Sari, maybe Andrea. Ty's getting a little bit of an edit. Cold we're not seeing. Really oh, I said Brad. Did I not say Brad? Okay. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Are we getting a reverse Aubrey where? She is getting the co-wrong edit, but reversed, where we're not seeing a lot of her, and suddenly she wins. Let's just talk about it. Where is, yeah. where is Aubrey's path? Yes, for Aubrey to win, she had to reverse it. <laughs> she had so, to so maybe the editors felt bad about how much they showed her in co-wrong, and she didn't end up winning, so they are going to... Because yeah, the, the, ed the editors said it. that, you know, we got so much feedback on this co-wrong edit. <laughs> let's do it again. Can we, we can never get enough of it. Come on, let's just kill it. Would it would be amazing. Like, I mean, the, the likelihood we is... So Wait, low, but it would be fantastic if like that was the Aubrey journey of just like screw you, Michelle Truthers, Aubrey wins. <laughs> It'd be incredible. Do we Sorry, I'm behind you. Do we get a spike the last two episodes where all of a sudden Aubrey just rises from the flames? Come on. Fan fiction. Okay. I'm like a storyteller. Who can Aubrey That's be? What I do. <laughs> then who? Then who can Aubrey be Michaela? at this point? Michaela Troyzan. <laughs> I, we don't know if she could be Troy Zan. I mean, we haven't seen yeah. anything of either of them. What's your deal with Troy Zan? I, I yeah, Steven. I don't get the like, sense that the jury is. Where does this come really from? Like, you're it's, 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 it's a sadness that we're not seeing more Troy Zan. Uh -huh. But, yeah. I, but yeah. it's, it's a great we've seen a lot still, of Troy Zan. Like, like the ghost of the pregame alliance that never happened but in Cambodia. No, is that what we didn't have a pregame. But we, we, I looked in his eyes yeah. and I was like. I, <laughs> Sure but I don't think a sense that the jury is anti Troyzan by any stretch of the imagination. Like I get it, like some uh, some of you guys uh, might not be loving him, but the jury isn't like burned up with him. Yeah, sure. We're just not seeing anything yeah. from yeah. Troyzan. Okay. Well, all right. I mean, we all still believe. We right? <laughs> these <laughs> Aubrey believe. Truthers are still out there. <laughs> Aubrey Truthers will not let it go. Yeah. Okay. All right, Jenny. Thank, thank you. you. All right. What? What else? All right. All right, from from the the man the man who pushed so hard to get us here, Ron from Toronto. Okay. okay. First off, let me ask the audience, who thinks that there should be an annual event in Toronto? <laughs> yep. That went well. I was worried it was gonna be like, eh. <laughs> Fill in the blank. The winner of Survivor Game Changers will be. Sarah! Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Sari. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know that I believe it, but I want to believe it. So I'm just gonna put it into the universe. I'm visualizing. That's the secret. That's the secret. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, it, Write it down and same, look at it before you go to bed. Same sentiment. I'm going to say Troy Zan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with Sarah. I'm, I'll be Team Sarah. There yeah. we go. All right. Anybody that comes for Steven's wig on Twitter, I'm, 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 with, I'm with them. And I am not your yeah. wig, Steven. All right. Uh, uh, so... After we get out of here tonight, we have a, we have put together an event after this. That's going to be at the Office Pub. If you're going to come on out to that, uh, that's at 117 John Street. Should be a fun night. 117 John John Street. There will be adult beverages served. Yeah. That's funny for a couple of them. Second floor. Second floor. A second floor of the Office Pub, I might add. Okay. We have, yes. H Haley has, has a question. 
Will there be treats? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. This is a we'll BYOT see. event. BYOT. Bring your own treats. <laughs> All right, okay. Haley's set. Visit Haley. She's got the treats. Yeah. Also, uh, let me also uh, shout out in addition to Ron, who really got the ball rolling. Angie Potts, thank you so much for all the work you did. Everything, everything has been uh, fantastic here. Uh, we love being here in Toronto. Steven, any, any thoughts about Toronto? Yeah, I like it too. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Even Steven likes it. Uh, let me do. Let me do a, uh, a quick shout out. Uh, Zach asked me to uh, shout out uh, the uh, amazing Jessica, uh, a different Jessica than Jessica Lee, another amazing Jessica, uh, who helped him be here tonight uh, for this event. Uh, it's a, very, it's a, a, a good story there. Uh, what else, Steve? We need a hashtag? Steven, what's the hashtag? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I helped you, I guess. Okay. All right. Sorry, Advantage Get In is happening. Two weeks from tonight will be the Survivor finale. Can't believe it. Woo, where's the time gone? Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. This was such a fantastic crowd. I got to, I got to talk yeah. to so many of you guys coming in. Everybody was so nice. Everybody was so happy we were here. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks so much to uh, Brett LaBelle. Uh, Kalen, Kareem, Kareem. Brett, play a song. Sing a song. Yeah. Come on, come in. Yeah. All right. Do you have a goodbye song, a good night? Oh, Canada. That's it? Yeah. That's it. That's All it. right. The mother country. All right. We've got uh, a lot of great stuff coming up on the podcast the next couple of days. Of course, uh, exit interview, Adam Klein. We're going to, uh, I'll get to the voicemails this weekend. Miles Nye is going to be on the voicemail. Uh, that's going to be up on Monday, so look for that. Get your voicemails in. Rob is at website.com slash voicemail. And also, we got a great chance that I visited the stage of Big Brother Canada earlier today. Had a great interview with Arissa Cox and the executive producer of Big Brother Canada. That's going to be up as well on Rob is at website.com. Look for that and uh, lots of Big Brother Canada stuff coming up as well. As well as our, we'll be back here tomorrow night for our Big Brother Canada eviction recap. If you had a great time tonight, come on back for our Big Brother Canada show. Still, you can buy some tickets online. Rob is website.com slash Toronto BBCan. Have a great night, everybody. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. We did it, guys.